the contribution of Muslim in modern science seems to have been forgotten by the people of the world today. The main reason for the fat of Muslim all over the world today is that Muslim have forgotten the golden history of their past, knowledge and science. But Muslim owns brought the entire world from darkness to the light of knowledge. The father of modern chemistry is the Muslim scientist Jabir ibn Hayyan. The father of modern algebra is the famous Muslim scientist Al Khawarizmi, a mathematician who is openly accepted by the West. Not many people know that the first observatory for space research was built by a Muslim scientist. Abbas ibn Firhas, the famous Muslim scientist, gave the idea of building the first flying plane in the world. The first accurate map of the world was made by 70 Muslim scientists. In today's video, I will discuss the contribution of Muslim to science and the invention of Muslim. Muslims were the originators and foreigners of modern science. Muslim scientists first brought the people of the world from darkness to the light of science. When the West was drawing the in the sea of ignorance, Muslim scientists and educators first spread the light of knowledge to the entire world. Today many may not want to admit it, but the reality that's it. Various Western thinkers and philosophers are openly admitting these words. The famous philosophers Robert Briefort wrote, In science, we are indebted to the Arab Muslims not only because they gave us revolutionary ideas and creativity. Rather, Arab culture and culture have had a great influence on the rise of science. In short, the existence of science is from the Arabs. Is It is also true that the Arabs contributed to the beginning of modern industrial society. Today, the number of Muslims in the world is about 200 million. The whole world is full of knowledge and science. But sadly, it is true that today no one thinks about who started the search for knowledge. Muslims are now busy bragging about the success of the West. But when Europeans did not know how to sign, there was not even an illiterate person in Muslim Spain. The idea and belief of the people of the 21st century that Muslims have not contributed much to science are completely wrong because Muslims have contributed significantly to modern science. In short, when the light of knowledge did not reach Europe, the Arabs were very advanced in science. Jabir ibn Hayyan a Muslim scientist had an outstanding contribution to presenting chemistry as a complete science by rescuing it from unhealthy environments and ancient misconception. He wrote about 2000 books out of which 267 were on chemistry. Jabir ibn Hayyan is also called the father of chemistry. Muslim scientist Ibn Sina, Ibn Jahar, Ubaidullah Jibril, Al Raji, Ali bin Abbas, and many others made outstanding contribution to medicine in the Middle Ages. Al Kanun, written by Ibn Sina on medicine, is called the Medical Bible. In addition, Ibn Musa was a mathematician, geographer, astrologer, and philosopher. In 850, he showed the use of the first map and the first 70 Muslim scientists draw accurate map of the world. The idea of the first airplane was invented by a Muslim scientist whom no one remembers, Abbas ibn Firhas, who first threw off flying into space. About 800 years before Leonardo Vinci, this Muslim scientist flew into the sky. In 875, he is considered the first thinker of the invention of flight. Firhas flow for 10 minutes, collected bird 
feather and made a fan with them and flow. A high mountain in Cordoba, Spain from Jabal al Arus. He was 70 years old when he flew. He realized that he could not control the speed. He felt the tail of the bird. He did not make the tail and was injured by hitting the ground. After that, he lived for 12 years but could not fly again. The first founder of the modern university was a Muslim human whose history may not be known to all. The highest level of the university is the university where the highest teaching certificate is awarded. But how many people know that the founder of the world's first university is a Muslim human, Fatima al fihriya who is the leader of the world? first university. In 859, as a symbol of higher education, he founded the first university in Fez, Morocco. According to historians, it is the oldest higher education institution or university in the world. A Muslim surgeon who made important innovation to advance medical science during that golden age Sergeant Abul Qasem Al Zahrabi gave the world his book, his autobiography. The book is a brilliant example of how skilled Al Zahrabi was in surgery. He wrote a volume of his 30 volume world cell, Al Tadrif, entitled Arms Trafficking, considered the father of modern surgery. His contribution have also influenced modern medical science. Abul Qasem Al Zahrabi received higher education in physics, chemistry, astrology, and medicine at the famous University of Cordova. Science stand on mathematics. Mathematics stand on algebra. And the first idea of algebra was landed by a Muslim scientist. His name is Abu Abdullah Muhammad ibn Musa Al Khwarizmi. Geometry was an essential part of Greek mathematics from which he moved away and added a new revolutionary trend. The idea of algebra is found in his book Al Jaber wal Muqabala. The journey and path of modern mathematics began based on the seminal mathematics composed by Al Khwarizm. This branch of modern science was started by a Muslim scientist. At that time, the Arab world brought revolutionary changes not only in mathematics, but it was able to bring changes in other fields of science without mathematics. They also revolutionized the field of magnifying glasses. The famous Muslim scholar of Basra city, Al Hassan, first described the structure of the eye and how the eye works. He was the first to demonstrate that the eye's visual acuity has no sense of surroundings. Apart from this, he gave the idea of the first spectacles saying that curved glass surfaces can also be used as aids to eyesight for magnification. Muslims have also contributed to the invention of the camera or light image recording device. The camera is widely used and popular among modern invention. And everyone knows the importance of the camera in life now. In 1021, this Muslim scientist was the first to think of inventing the camera. The concept was recorded in Al Manazir, also written by an Iraqi scientist but many years passed before the full-fledged camera was invented after that. Added new features to the camera in a few steps. Finally, in 1975, the first digital camera was added to the human race. The Muslim scientist Ibn al-Haytham was born in Basra, Iraq in 1965 AD. Ibn al-Haytham's Kitab al-Manazir i.e. book of optics is considered the equivalent of Newton's Principia Mathematics. 
in terms of influence on physics. He tested and proved that light travels in a straight line. As in other fields of science, he also contributed to the invention of direction finding instrument and to the mapping of river, rivers and oceans. Al Idris born in Spain in the 7th century, acquired a vast knowledge of the contemporary world. Al Rojari's topography became so popular that his map were used as wall maps throughout Europe, Asia and Africa. In addition to map making, Muslim also achieved unprecedented success in inventing navigational instruments. The magnetic needles was first invented by the Arabs. They used it in navigation and no warship of any nation could enter the Mediterranean without the permission of the Muslims. By inventing the compass, medieval Muslims traveled by sea and discovered different countries. Columbus discovered America under the instruction of Arab sailor Abdul Rahman. In 1530, Nayak Pir Rais drew a picture of South Africa's South America coast on deer skin by means of distance and compass directions. He wrote several valuable books on naval science, the Atlantic Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Persian Gulf. The scientist Abul Hassan invented the telescope and Abdullah ibn Ahmed and ibn Baitar showed remarkable mastery of botany in Muslim Spain. Al-Majrid, Al-Zarqali ibn Afala, Muhammad bin Ibrahim and Al-Fasari were prominent astronomers of that era. In 1068, the Spanish martyr Asafi made an antalya that indicated the course of the sun and the position of 18 stars. It is currently preserved in Oxford's Museum of the History of Science. In 712, when Arab conquered Sindh, Multan and Punjab in India, Arabs were attracted to Indian culture. Al-Biruni mastered the Sanskrit language in just 15 days and presented many Sanskrit moral stories and fact in Arabic. The world renowned traveller Ibn Battuta and India's status were present to the world. In addition, Al Biruni's book Al Hind became known as Al Biruni's Bharat the World. Considering all aspects, it appears that the renaissance of today's world, especially Europe, is the fragmented result of the 700 years pursuit of knowledge and science by the Muslim thinkers of the Middle Ages. Their tireless work in the field of knowledge plays a special role in bringing mankind to the pinnacle of progress. The contribution of Muslim in science is indescribable but the Western scientists of the 21st century conspiratorially refused to give credit to Muslim scientists, which is not at all acceptable because of the contribution that Muslim thinkers have made to the excellence of science. If it is forgotten, today science will not exist. However, the current Muslim have to follow the path shown by their wise men to bring back their lost glory.